We're going to talk a little bit about the absorption and distribution of drugs and medication and some of the factors related to that. When we think about um, uh, the absorption factor of drugs and the distribution of factor of drugs, one of the main things you need to remember is solubility. The body wants to equilibrialize uh, the intake, the drug that's been brought in, um, but depending on the type of drug it is itself, the way it's absorbed, and some other factors uh, influences how evenly and how rapidly the drug is uh, distributed and absorbed. So uh, basically we want to talk about the main ways that drugs are absorbed and distributed, usually through mucous membranes or the digestive tra tract, are the two primary ways, mucous membranes and the digestive tract, are the pr two primary ways of absorption and distribution of various drugs. Um, some drugs, by their very nature, are less soluble than others. So part of the problem with absorption and distribution resides with the drug itself. But there are other things, other factors that come into play here. Uh, some of these things include the drug's uh, ionization um, factors, the, its tendency to ionize, the pH or acidity and alkalinity of the um, body itself, of the tissues, the perfusion of the tissues, the overall volume of distribution. All of these things uh, play into and impact the uh, absorption and distribution of various drugs. Now, because of this, uh, because of these factors, alkalinity, ionization, perfusion, distribution, um, they can make it, um, the drug itself, unstable uh, when it comes to the stomach and other things like this, and make it more difficult for it to penetrate the blood-brain barrier. And um, given that, then we need to talk about ways of administering these drugs that might help make that easier. And so the primary way most drugs are administered is orally, through the mouth. The problem with this, even though it's easier in some ways to get someone to take medication or um, the patient, who or what it may be, to take the medication orally is that before the drug actually is absorbed and distributed, it has to pass through the digestive tract. And so it's taken in through the mouth, goes into the stomach, and it's not until it passes into the intestines that it then begins its absorption and distribution. So when it enters the intestines at that point, uh, it enters the hepatic portal circulation and goes directly to the liver. And it's at the liver that it's then metabolized and sent out. Now, the problem with this is what has been called this first pass effect. The first pass effect. The liver metabolizes the drug using biochemical process uh, which prevents a good deal of the original drug from even entering the systemic circulation. So it's been taken orally, it's passed through the digestive tract into the intestines, it's then passed to the liver, metabolized, and then sent out from there. But by that point, much of the original drug uh, never enters the systemic circulation and therefore doesn't get out and do what it needs to do. So um, while it's perhaps easiest, it's the least efficient way for the absorption and distribution of drugs. Um, of course, it's a major one because of the digestive tract. It's easy, that sort of thing. Um, but some of these other factors here are more important or ways of getting the drug to be absorbed and distributed uh, more rapidly uh, and with greater um, intensity or volume. So intravenous would be one way of doing this, inserting it directly into the circulatory system as it then rapidly travels around and is absorbed. Second way would be sublingually or beneath the tongue. Also another way as it is dissolved to get it immediately into the bloodstream. And then finally intramuscular injections, which a lot of um, uh, immunizations are done this way as the injections put directly into a muscle, at least they were uh, in the older days or in the fatty tissues. So uh, basically when we talk about absorption and distribution of drugs here, just the basic overview uh, the drug itself plays a factor and then the body and the way it's put into the body plays a factor as to how quickly it's absorbed, how rapidly it's diffused and distributed, how much um, intensity or uh, volume goes out and therefore the impact of the drug. Mucous membranes and digestive tract are the main ways of getting drugs into the system, most given orally, but then you have the problem of the first pass effect as it has to go all the way to the intestines, to the liver, metabolized, and then sent out, and uh, much of the uh, benefit you wanted to get is um, absorbed or done away with by this first pass effect. So other ways or methods of getting drugs better absorbed, more quickly absorbed, with greater distribution, 
would be intravenously, sublingually, or intramuscular injection. If you'd like to learn more about this, there's a link beneath this video. Please click on it. It'll take you to a website with that information. And on that website, you'll also find a link to an ebook that's ready for immediate download.